Welcome back to Finance Homefront. I'm thrilled to have you here with us today. Before we dive into our latest discussion, I want to thank each and every one of you for tuning in. Your support means the world to us. If you enjoy our content, please don't forget to hit the like button, subscribe to our channel, and click the bell icon to stay updated with our latest videos. Today, we're going to delve into a major event that's shaking up the cryptocurrency market, the largest three-day sell-off we've seen in a year. We'll explore the factors behind this significant downturn, the impact on major cryptocurrencies like Bitcoin and Ethereum, and what it means for the market moving forward. Please remember, the information presented in this video is for educational and informational purposes only. I'm not providing financial advice. Always do your own research and consult with a professional before making any financial decisions. Thank you for being part of the Finance Homefront community. Let's get started. The cryptocurrency market has just experienced its most substantial three-day downturn in 12 months, attributed to disappointing employment data in the United States and renewed concerns about a potential recession. The market's total capitalization saw a staggering reduction of $510 billion from August 2nd to August 5th. This massive sell-off occurred as a wave of risk aversion swept through global markets. Bitcoin, the leading cryptocurrency, fell below $60,000 over the weekend and plummeted to $49,300 on Monday morning in Asian trading. Investors' flight from risk assets led to Bitcoin's nearly 15% drop within 24 hours, though it later recovered to approximately $52,000. Ethereum, the second largest cryptocurrency, saw a dramatic 22% decrease to $2,100, marking its most significant single-day fall since 2021. The Coindesk 20 Index, a benchmark that tracks the performance of the broader altcoin market, declined nearly 20%, with major cryptocurrencies like Solana and Near Protocol falling between 20 and 25%. QCP analysts describe the situation as a perfect storm in their market update. The shift in sentiment began with Friday's U.S. Economic and Jobs Report, which stoked fears of a recession. Additionally, escalating tensions in the Middle East exacerbated the market's unease. The Japanese yen surged against the U.S. dollar, triggering a cascade of trade unwinds across various asset classes. Asian equity markets also faced severe losses, with Taiwan's index experiencing its worst day in 57 years. QCP noted that the crypto trading giant Jump Trading's asset sell-off further intensified the decline. Companies tied into cryptocurrencies also felt the impact, as their stock prices mimicked the downturn in digital asset values. Coinbase, a major cryptocurrency exchange, saw its stock drop by over 9% in U.S. pre-market trading. MicroStrategy, known for its significant Bitcoin holdings, lost 13% of its value. CoinShares, a cryptocurrency asset management firm, fell 7.5% in Sweden. U.S.-listed cryptocurrency miners Marathon Digital and Iren both suffered nearly 14% losses, while HUT8 fell 12% and Riot Platforms dropped 11%. Derivatives traders faced a massive leverage wipeout due to the price crash. According to CoinGlass data, cryptocurrency futures recorded over $1 billion in liquidations within the past 24 hours. Ethereum futures alone saw over $340 million in liquidated bets, while Bitcoin futures led with $420 million in losses. Futures tied to Solana, Dogecoin, XRP, and Pepe collectively accounted for $75 million in liquidations. The sharp decline in the cryptocurrency market coincided with a faltering performance in equities. The S&P 500 index fell by as much as 4.4% during the same period. This market stumble was driven by weak employment data, slower growth among major tech stocks, and renewed recession fears. Several major companies, including Microsoft and Intel, reported lower than expected second quarter results. Market leader NVIDIA also faced challenges due to expectations of imminent interest rate cuts in September 
causing capital to flow back into smaller, underperforming companies. The last time the cryptocurrency market experienced such a severe three-day sell-off was in mid-August 2023. Among the top 10 largest tokens by market capitalization, Solana's Layer 1 network was the hardest hit. Solana's price fell to $112, representing a significant 30.6% drop since July 30th. Market commentators pointed to a significant sell-off by Jump Crypto as an aggravating factor. According to data from Arkham Intelligence, the trading firm offloaded hundreds of millions of dollars in assets over the past several days. The Crypto Fear and Greed Index, which tracks market sentiment towards Bitcoin and other cryptocurrencies, has fallen back into the fear zone, with a current score of 26 according to Alternative.me. Looking ahead, the cryptocurrency market faces another challenging week. To stabilize the weekend's losses, an increase in spot and derivatives trading activity from traditional financial institutions is crucial. Keith Allen, co-founder of the Trading Resource Material Indicators, noted in his latest post on August 4th that Bitcoin has entered the CME gap but can only be technically filled during trading hours. This observation highlights the ongoing volatility and uncertainty in the market. In summary, the cryptocurrency market's recent three-day downturn is a result of several compounding factors, including weak U.S. economic data, geopolitical tensions, and significant asset sell-offs by major trading firms. As the market navigates these turbulent times, the actions of traditional financial institutions and their engagement in spot and derivatives trading will be critical in determining the market's recovery trajectory. Thanks for joining us on this deep dive into the recent cryptocurrency market crash here at Finance Homefront. We hope you found this analysis insightful and helpful in understanding the current market dynamics. If you enjoyed this video and want to stay informed about the latest in the financial world, don't forget to like, subscribe, and hit that notification bell so you never miss an update. Your support helps us bring you more valuable content and keeps our community growing. Remember, the information we've discussed is meant to educate and inform. It's crucial to do your own research and consult with a financial professional before making any investment decisions. We appreciate you being part of the Finance Home Front family. Stay tuned for more updates and analysis on the ever-evolving world of finance. Until next time, stay informed, stay safe, and keep making smart financial choices.